Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex, and this opportunity I want to show you how to unlock the Moto C2 Force by Motorola. Again guys, this phone is a really nice phone, it's really thin, and it's octa-core, you have 64 gigs of space, 4 of RAM, quad-core HD, I mean this is a nice phone guys, and guess what, 100 bucks. I mean, it's used. That's why, guys, do not spend more than $300 ever for a phone and forget about the new phones. Let's force the companies to understand that we, the users, don't have $1,000 for a phone. Let them adjust and give us what we need for a price that we can afford. All right, guys, so after that little rant, let's try to unlock this phone. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get the IMEI number. How can we do that? There's different ways. Let's see if we can copy it. Let's see, guys. About the phone, status, SIM status. What? Well, look at this, guys. IMEI, not available. Wow, that never happens to me, guys. Wow. All right, so let's try this. I mean, star, pound, 06, pound. And this is the IMEI number. All right. So let's copy it, guys. 35. 331 and again let's count the digits it has to be 15 and we're gonna go to your favorite browser and we're gonna type AT&T unlock okay we go to the first website device unlock portal that's what we need unlock a device AT&T customer I'm not IMEI number all right so let's type it here don't make a mistake guys 353311 the website is gonna recognize the phone right away look at that boom and I told you, Motorola, and this is the model number, the XT1789-04. That's the model for the Motorola. And here, we're going to have to select the storefronts. Okay, I guess it's this one, that two. All right, boom. And that's it. We prove we are humans. Okay, we're going to select this and next. Okay, so first name, Alex. Last name. Zuniga. All right. Mobile number, you need to put email address. This is the most important stuff. We put our email and we're going to click submit. And let's see what happened here, guys. We are submitting our request. And look at that. Thanks. We are emailing you a link. All right, guys. Really important about this. Usually, I will say 99% of the times, they send you the email right away, maybe in the next five minutes. I mean, they say it can take up to 24 hours, but usually it's right away. That's why when you don't get it in the next 10, 20, half an hour, that means that something happens. So you need to wait a couple of days and you need to submit it again. Okay, guys, so we were lucky enough that we got the email. So now we need to do this. You click on the email, you open it up, okay? And you're gonna have to confirm it. So here it is, guys. Confirm your request within 24 hours, okay? And I think you need to click here, boom. It says, thanks for confirming. So that's great, guys. So that means that they are already processing. Now, what I usually do, just to make sure that everything is going smoothly, I copy this. Okay, and I go to check request status. Okay, and I think I had I do have that request number, right? And now we just need to get the IMEI number, but I think I have it right here. I should have it on one of this, on this one, yes. Yeah, okay, we're gonna copy it. And we're gonna go to the other website, which is, I think it's this one, yes. And we're gonna paste the, confirming that we are not, bots and submit in progress guys so this is taking longer because all of this is automated sometimes guys when you check the status you can see right away if it's unlocked or not but in this case you know it's taking longer again it can take up to 24 hours for you to get a confirmation email either yes or no so yesterday we were trying to unlock this phone unfortunately i couldn't get the code right away so i'm gonna check if it comes today and this is really important guys sometimes I mean, you can wait for AT&T to send you an email saying that they approve your unlock. But what I do, guys, is I check the status of the unlock. This is the email that AT&T sent to me. This is 21 hours ago. So we have a IMEI number and we have a request number. We're gonna copy the request number and we're gonna go, and this is the device unlock portal. We're gonna click on check and unlock status. Remember, we already have the request number pasted, I mean, copy it. So now we're gonna just paste it and we are gonna go to get the IMEI number. So we're switching from tab to tab and we're gonna paste it. All right, cool. So we paste it. We need to confirm we are humans and we need to submit it. So again, this is to check the status of, of my request from yesterday, right? And look at this, guys. 
This is a beautiful thing. This is what you want to see. Check your unlock status, currently status, approve. But again, guys, I did not get an email. So I was forced to go here and check the status. So that's what I recommend you to do. As you can see here, the unlock code is this one. So I'm just gonna write it down and use it. I want to tell you guys that you cannot use this code because the code is generated based on the IMEI number. So it's unique for each phone. So don't try to use the code because it's not gonna work. Okay, so then what we can do guys, we are gonna put a SIM card. Okay, so it's the SIM card there. And probably the phone is gonna give me a message saying that, oh, look at this. SIM network and lock pin. I do have the pin lock and the pin is 1582033. This one doesn't give us any indication of how many digits do we need because on the ZTE phones, I think the pin code is 18 digits. In this one, it's only eight. So that depends on the manufacturer. As soon as I click unlock, you're gonna get a message saying network unlock successful. So let's try it, guys. Networks unlock successful. And look at this, guys. Immediately recognize the SIM card. It says Wi-Fi connected. Skip. And we're going to do the typical 611. I'm going to dial it. And let's see if Metro pick up. This is Metro by T-Mobile. And I see your phone isn't active on our network. That's it. All right, guys, so now I have my phone unlocked for Metro or any GSM company, and this used to be AT&T. Thank you, AT&T, for allowing me to unlock my phone. And again, guys, if you qualify for the unlock code, AT&T will send it to you. But if you're under contract or you didn't make payments or the phone is blacklisted, they will not. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. I mean, I recorded in two days because I didn't get the code right away, but at the end, I'm happy. Again, thank you for watching this. I would really appreciate it if you can give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. In that way, every time I upload something new, you'll get a notification. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.